Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Meanwhile, the US has been making a lot of noise in recent years about its export controls on semiconductors to China, particularly targeting the Dutch company ASML, with the aim of tightening its supply of lithography machines to China. However, starting in 2023, ASML has continued to sell equipment to Chinese companies, with several transactions proceeding smoothly. This has led many to wonder if US restrictions are loosening and becoming less aggressive. The situation is more complex. While the controls remain in place, ASML's shipments haven't been completely disrupted. The reasons behind this involve commercial interests, global supply chains, and international competition. For example, in 2024, the U.S. Department of Commerce updated its rules at the beginning of the year, requiring the Dutch government to conduct licensing reviews for certain deep ultraviolet lithography machines exported to China. Similar regulations have been in place in the Netherlands since June 2023, specifically for ASML's NXT, 2000i and NXT, 2050i models, requiring individual review. As a result, ASML was forced to cancel several planned shipments in January 2024, involving equipment worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The direct cause was pressure from US President Biden's administration, which urged the Netherlands through phone calls and diplomatic channels not to release the equipment. The equipment was originally destined for chip factories in mainland China to produce mature process logic and memory chips. ASML executives immediately stated that this would affect the company's full-year performance, but they also worked tirelessly, quickly adjusting inventory and production plans to ensure that other orders could be completed on time. By the second quarter of 2024, China's total imports of lithography equipment from the Netherlands had rebounded by 21%, accounting for nearly half of ASML's global sales. This rebound was primarily due to the clearance of previously accumulated orders and the rush by Chinese companies to stockpile goods as a hedge against risks. Customs data clearly shows that in the first two months of 2024, China's total semiconductor equipment imports increased by 256%, with lithography equipment from ASML contributing the most. Most of these machines are deep ultraviolet DUV, machines, capable of supporting processes from 7 nanometers to 28 nanometers. While not cutting-edge extreme ultraviolet EUV, they are sufficient for domestic chip manufacturing in China and can help companies like SMIC maintain production capacity. ASML strictly follows a licensing process for these shipments, reporting every transaction to the Netherlands Ministry of Economic Affairs. The review process typically takes several weeks to months. For example, in the second half of 2024, a batch of deep ultraviolet DUV, immersion lithography machines were packed from ASML's Veldhoven plant, shipped to Shanghai port, and shipped after customs clearance to chip factories in Chongqing and Guangdong. The installation process required ASML engineers to spend weeks fine-tuning the laser source and optical system to ensure nanometer-level precision. These factories invested heavily in cleanroom construction and upgraded power and gas supply systems. In contrast, extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines have been completely banned since 2019, leading to the cancellation of several high-end machines ordered by Chinese companies, resulting in losses exceeding $100 million. In July 2024, the U.S. Congress held a hearing criticizing ASML's sales strategy, saying it may have indirectly aided China's military industry. ASML countered that all its equipment was restricted to civilian use and had undergone review. In January 2025, the U.S. issued new regulations targeting software upgrades and maintenance services, but ASML's shipments to China remained stable in the first quarter accounting for 42% of its sales. For example, in March 2025, a Shanghai chip company received a deep ultraviolet DUV machine. A team of engineers spent four weeks optimizing the light source power to over 200 watts to support 7 nanometers production. 
The machine was transported in a dedicated container filled with inert gas to prevent oxidation. Custom statistics show that in the first nine months of 2025, China's imports of lithography equipment increased by 15%, with ASML accounting for 70%. In May, the US State Department called on allies to standardize, but the Netherlands stated that it would independently evaluate each transaction. ASML reported no shipment disruptions this year, and instead strengthened remote support and diagnostic services. On October 7, a U.S. congressional report indicated that 70% of ASML's advanced deep ultraviolet systems, valued at billions of dollars, would be sold to China by 2024, posing security risks to some buyers. ASML denied this and emphasized compliance. These incidents, combined, show frequent U.S. lobbying, but actual interference has been minimal, and ASML's channels remain open. Chinese companies are investing in upgrading facilities, building class 1000 clean rooms, and purchasing supporting systems. In the third quarter of 2025, ASML completed delivery to a Guangdong company, and production increased by 20% after the equipment went into production. Regulatory enforcement is difficult due to technological dependence, and excessive blockades could disrupt global supply chains. ASML's third-quarter financial report confirmed strong demand in China, but warned of a decline in 2026 due to domestic substitution and increased regulations. From the launch of licensing in 2023 to continued shipments in 2025, U.S. intervention has not fundamentally altered the landscape. ASML released its third-quarter financial report on October 15, 2025, reporting net sales of euro 7.5 billion and net income of euro 2.1 billion. The company expects full-year sales growth of 15% and a gross profit margin of 52% for 2025. The target shipments are several hundred deep ultraviolet DUV units, 90 extreme ultraviolet EUV units, and 20 high numerical aperture HNA units. While China's market share is expected to decline from 49% in 2024 to approximately 20% in 2025, it remains a key expansion focus. The company is adding production lines at its Dutch factory and hiring engineers for assembly. The HNA model boasts an 8 nanometers resolution and laser power exceeding 200 watts. While sales in China are expected to decline in 2025 due to heightened U.S. regulations, ASML will experience overall growth of 15%, with a gross profit margin of 52%. The Korean market is increasing its investment in Samsung and SK Hynix, which require equipment to meet their high-bandwidth memory needs. In China, SMIC and other companies are continuing to purchase, while ASML, is adjusting its supply chain to ensure the supply of hydrogen fluoride gas. ASML considers China crucial and will continue to fulfill its deep ultraviolet DUV, contracts to avoid escalation. While supporting its domestic market, the US has taken into account ASML's relationship with the US and shifted its regulations to software, not hardware. While the lithography export dispute remains stable, ASML's shipments are increasing, solidifying China's position.